the Armed Forces of National Liberation, also known as the FALN, was founded in the 1960s under the leadership of Filiberto Oeja Rios. They were one of several organizations established during this decade that promoted clandestine armed struggles against the United States government that the movement described as the colonial forces of the United States. The group was founded following decades of alleged harassments, attacks, illegal imprisonments, and assassination against members of the Puerto Rican independence movement. The group was part of a movement that included other clandestine organizations, including the Independence Movement of Armed Revolutionaries, also known as MIRA, the Organization for Puerto Rican Revolution, and the Armed Liberation Group, and served as predecessor for what would become the Boricua Popular Army. The organization's intention was to draw attention to what they described as the colonial condition of Puerto Rico through armed action against the United States government and military. The modus operandi of FALN was to perform bombing and incendiary actions and then admit responsibility through press releases. The first of these news releases announced the group's intention. In this document, they admitted responsibility for attacks on several locations in New York to weaken the Yankee capitalist monopoly and demanded the release of five political prisoners. These were Lolita Lebron, Oscar Colazzo, Rafael Cancel Miranda, Andreas Figueroa, and Irvin Flores. In this communique, the organization warns that they had opened two fronts, in Puerto Rico and the United States respectively. The goal of these were to organize a People's Revolutionary Army, which they expected would quote-unquote rid Puerto Rico of Yankee colonialism. Both fronts were supported and maintained by allies within Puerto Rico and North America. On August 11, 1999, U.S. President Bill Clinton offered conditional clemency to 16 members of the FALN convicted for conspiracy to commit robbery, conspiracy to bomb making and sedation, as well as as for firearms and explosives violations. None of these 16 were convicted of bombings or any crime which injured another person and all the 16 has served 19 years or longer in prison which was a longer sentence than such crimes typically received according to the white house clinton offered clemency on condition that the prisoners renounce violence at the appeal of 10 Nobel peace prize laureates president jimmy carter the archbishop of new york and the victims of faln terrorist activities the Fraternal Order of Police, and members of Congress. Hillary Clinton in her campaign for senator also criticized the commutation, although she had earlier been supportive. The activist Oscar Lopez Rivera rejected the 1999 Clinton pardon. U.S. President Barack Obama later commuted his sentence and Lopez Rivera was released in May 2017. After 36 years in prison, he had been incarcerated longer than any other member of the FALN. Now, I know that this is somewhat of a short, um, like a very brief description of the uh, FALN movement. I figured that I would touch on, you know, certain Puerto Rican movements, certain um, Puerto Rican activists. Uh, I do also plan to, um, I know that these people, you know, people like Lolita Lebron and um, this group here, the, F- uh, the FALN group, that they're more on the uh, the extreme, uh, I guess you would say the left side, more, you know, on, uh, I guess you would say the, the communist side, more on the um, you know, Puerto Rico being 
on its own, being independent side. And I also do want to focus on groups and people also that contribute to the right side, which I will be getting into. Um, the thing is, is that these people, which would be people more so on the right side, um, that takes a little more digging and I have to like really sort out which people and which groups I want to speak about on my channel. Um, but I do plan to cover all sides because, um, you know, while I speak on this stuff, uh, because it interests me, um, on the other hand, especially when it comes to Puerto Rico and, um, and independence or, um, versus becoming, um, a state, I have, I can, I can understand both sides to a degree, so... I think I want to try to touch on the history of on um, both sides if I can as much as possible. So anyhow, I'm going to go for now. I know that this was a brief video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you all are safe and taking care of yourselves and that all of you are well. And I guess I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.